Hey guys, Shushan Midget here, um, doing an update on my ANK ACR. So here it is. Now, in the process of the whole thing, me switching out the gearbox, I had an AIM gearbox, an AIM top, um, which as far as I know is part of G&G, &G. um, they're just a more expensive G&G, &G, basically, um, it, it was, uh, had all AIM gears, AIM spring, AIM piston, I think the whole, th the shell was AIM, I think everything was AIM, um, except for the motor, which was GMP, high speed. Only shot 16 rounds a second, 16 rounds a second, not very good. And then my, uh, trigger contacts, some of my trigger contacts shorted out. Well, they didn't short out because... The contacts are the same on semi-auto and full-auto. But when I would pull the trigger on semi-auto, it would, like, half-fire. It was like an open or a closed bolt. An open bolt type thing. I'd pull the trigger and it would open. And then I'd have to pull it again to get it to fire. It was weird. It was the current wasn't right. Um, but I gave that whole gearbox to a guy. And he teched this gun for me. He put my GMP motor in here. He shimmed it. Um, he, with this motor, he greased it, um, he put it all back together, he cr fixed the compression issue, um, it has a VSC gearbox shell, SHS 1-13 to gears, SHS piston that has been, uh, and piston head that has been, um, Swiss cheesed, um, and the two last teeth have been removed, or the first. I don't know what you... It's the back teeth, but I think it's opposite where those are the front teeth. I don't know. Two of the teeth are removed. Um, it's AOE corrected. And currently it shoots 300 feet per second with .25 grand BBs at 30 rounds a second. Which is pretty dang on good. Now, I know my ACR mag catch is broken. Does not accept eight uh, M fours, mag catches. Um, it broke in the process of taking it apart and getting the whole thing together. Um, but I'm buying a new one or trading for one. I know someone that would trade for one um, for an off-brand chest rig. But this guy that traded me the chest rig hasn't given it to me because I haven't seen him, and he's taking no initiative to come, you know, give it to me, which is annoying. Um, so I have to get that um whenever i get it i'll send pictures of the guy and if he do ends up backing out like so many other airsofters do really people in general just back out they say they'll trade something and then they end up don't not you know it's not just doesn't just happen in airsoft but you know if he doesn't follow through i'll just sell the vest and with cash go buy a mag release but Either way, I'm going to get a mag release for this. Um, the selector switch is gone. I'm not going to worry about the selector switch. Um, someone, the guy that teched it for me said I should get a selector switch. But that mag catch is more important. I, don't, I really don't care about the selector switch. So pop the pin out. I also have a um, um, mad bolt inner barrel in here. It's a tight bolt. Um... I'm going to go over the stock and stuff. Alright, so this is a 7 position stock. It's the stock a &K stocks. And, you know, like a lot of those can, you can just pull it out without pressing anything. Because that's how a lot of them are. They're broken. I want to get a new one, but they're out of stock on every website I've looked at because I don't know why. <laughs> um, you push this button in and it folds. I like the folding stock. The previous owner snapped off the thing, uh, the tab, probably because, you know, people rip these out on video because they think they're cool. They're like, Shh, you're just going to break your gun. Um, every time I put it in, I push in the button. You do that kind of thing. It doesn't move very much. The cheek rest is also busted. It does not. It clicks, and then, you know, you push it in, but it just falls straight down. Um... The receiver here is plastic, and the upper, the lower receiver is plastic. The upper receiver is metal and is aluminum. 
Um, as you can see, it comes with the built-in sight here. Sorry. Gas, fake gas system. To get this barrel out, you push in this button, and you turn this lug, and you pull it out. Now, I don't want to do this because my wire barely comes out of this thing. Um, that is a very, that is a huge con for me. It has a micro FET, I think it's called, um, which is a micro MOSFET, basically. But the wires are so short that it literally barely comes out of here. I can get my battery in here and everything, but... To get this barrel out, it is a huge freaking pain because it is a pain to get um, because there's so much like wire, like little wires um, with that micro FET um, that it is hard to get this barrel seated all the way down. My hop up, my charging handle I took out. So to get to the hop up, you just pull this fake bolt back. My hop up is almost all the way down and I'm, you know, have it sighted in at 100 feet with two fives. Um, it's pretty good. For having the hop up all the way down. Now this can shoot a lot further than that. Um, and the reason why it shoots so far. Is because the what I did with this um, bucking. Is I have two buckings in there. Um, which is overall not good for the. Uh, or not two buckings. Two uh, nubs. Which is overall not good for the, nu or the bucking. Because it can get ripped. But since it's literally like. Hardly any pressure is being put on it. There's a lot of. Um. What do you call it? Force onto the BB, but on the bucking, you know, I can push it down a lot more. Um, I'll actually go ahead and this is or take this unit out for you. Pop up unit, the barrel. Take it out just like that, because I don't need it for the video. way that I have this in here is pretty cool. Let me hold it up to the light and see. That's actually good where I have it. Where I have it, it's not like bunched up in a corner or anything. I wanted to take that out just to check that to see if it was good or not. I really like this a ACR hop-up unit. I don't know, I'm a huge fan of it. It's more like an AK hop up unit with a slider, but it's, I don't know, I like it. And it's a V pattern, I'm not sure if that's stock, or what barrel is in here, or nub, or bucking. It's like a V. And that's like almost all the way down, and you turn it almost all the way up, and there's a lot of force being pushed down on that BB. So I could hop this .25 gram BB up very, very far. I mean, very, very far. I can get, like, 200 feet. If, you know, I see a guy that's really far away, all I have to do is just flip that uh, hop-up all the way up and just spray. Now, I have this spacer here to tighten it up. I wanted to put that on there. It's from a WE ECR, which I do have. Is that where it goes? No, it goes on the back of this. Whoops, sorry. These are, it's a good idea to put these on here. Um, I'll put it back together later. I'm going to fire it for you. This LiPo is one of the ones that's here. 74 LiPo, 1,600 milliamp. And this is a 74 LiPo, 1,300. This one's charged more. Because I charged this a few days ago. That other one I haven't charged in a week. barrel it shoots a lot of air out but my FPS is very low at 300 now let me go to auto uh, now the spring in that's in here is a really cheap um, it's a, it's a, um, 
low quality M100. That's why my FPS is pretty low. I was told he could have put an M120 in here, but it just wouldn't have shot as fast. It would have FPS would have gone up at least 20. But I'm a rated fire person. Still semi. Yeah, I know I have to use pliers or scissors to adjust the setting. I hate this. Can't turn it anymore. I wish my brother would stop stealing my frickin' pliers. Whatever. I... That's semi-auto. I don't know how to turn this thing. Wish I could turn this. There we go. That sounds safe. Sorry, guys. Still on semi. Scratching up the whole gun. Whatever, you can... There we go. Jeez. It's fast. It's at least 30 rounds per second. Semi again. So yeah, this is for CQB. I'm I airsoft field. I play field. I can shoot people as close as I want on full auto, since it shoots at such a low FPS. I'm glad to finally get guns that are good like this, because I've had you know I've had a JGM4S system. I've had some pretty good guns, but I've had I haven't I haven't had anything that's like quite this good, like this fast shooting or this upgraded in internally. I haven't had that until now. Um, gotta get this lug down in here now. Now it's much tighter because of that ring. Nice. Alright, that's my ANK ACR. So thank you for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Really, that's it. There's nothing else to talk about. So, yeah.